Hey y'all, let's check out Elvion. Hey y'all, today we're looking around the Elvion. This is a beautiful forest themed Sam. I am in the shared environment settings on the Firestorm viewer and this land is not TP friendly. So if you decide that you want to double click, it is gonna take you back to the beginning. So let's have a look around. So when you first come to this land, they're gonna have a teleport system right when you land and that's definitely gonna be your best friend. I panned out on this land and it looked like it was about two sams large which is pretty large um so i know that there are going to be a lot of things to look at but i definitely know that we will not get to all of them today um this is definitely going to be something where you're going to spend a lot of your time get to know this beautiful place um on your own and that's okay that's what i want you guys to do so first things first i want to go ahead and just do a quick little outfit check so this is what I decided to wear today. Nothing too fancy schmancy, you know. Got my little espresso drink. So I'm loving that. Um, silver accessories today, nothing major. Um, so let's take a little look at the shoes really quickly. These are shoes that you guys have seen before. I think they're just in a different color. Red bottoms always. Why you guys? That's right. Cause they don't hurt your feet in second life. So let's continue exploring. So they have this beautiful flower market. Just want to take a look at everything before we go in. It seems like this space that I'm in is more like it has a market type feel to it and so i really like that i did a once over on this land i am now committed to not um really taking a deep dive into these lands and kind of well not kind of but definitely saving the ex explorations for um us to be able to share in so when you're saying things i'm saying them at the same time for the first time as well so it's really cute in here, a little orange tree and lemon trees. I do like to try to stay in the shared environments because um, when you come to the land, I kind of want you to have a better understanding, um, a visual understanding of what things are gonna look like for you if you are in the shared environment on Firestorm. Um, Second Life creators, they tend to do a very good job with um, having shared environments. I will say though, I do feel like the Black Dragon um, Shared environment options are better. No, not the Black Dragon. The Firestorm shared environment options are better than the Black Dragon shared environments, in my personal opinion. I feel like the ones in Black Dragon, they're not very realistic. Now, you can tweak them, of course, to make them be perfect for you. But just from start, just the way that they normally are, I'm not not a fan just not a fan i don't like having to do a lot of tweaking i know there are a lot of photographers that are really deep into that and i commend you guys for that because some of the black dragon well a lot if not all of the black dragon photos that i see in second life they're done extremely well i want to look over here first so so far i'm really liking it it does have a bit of a rustic vibe to it Oh, this is like a cute little diner. I was going to call it a cafe, but then I saw the burgers. I'm like, it's giving diner. And then the chairs and things like that. Um, It does have a rustic vibe to it. Almost like, I don't know, like a by the seaside type feel. It's like if you stayed in a small town and most of most of your land was like surrounded. Oh, this burger looks delicious. It looks so real. Most of the land was surrounded by water. This would kind of be like the type of diner that you would go to, like the diner that everybody goes to type thing. It's really cute in here. I love these colorful pictures. Very pretty. I love things like this. I love, listen, if, if, if we're going to explore, we, we really going to look around and look at just every little thing. It's, it's, it's what I love to do here um this kind of diner stand this reminds me of uh, the video like a couple videos back where they had this diner stand this ice cream looks delicious 
um my last not the last video i think the video before last oh, by the way if you guys haven't seen my last video make sure that you check it out and while you guys are at it if you are enjoying the video so far make sure that you like subscribe and comment please it'd be very well appreciated and hello to all of my new supporters welcome 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 i was just telling my mom i said i'm, I'm really building a community here and i love it i love sharing um, my explorations with you guys and i just really love the feedback that i'm receiving from everyone just you know it's always good to have that added confirmation that like yeah you know you're, you're, you're doing you're doing well you're doing good and people are being receptive and enjoying the content as much as um, I enjoy um, exploring and sharing the content with you guys so we're not gonna spend too much time in this bakery because I am you know I don't want to be too into every little bitty every little bitty thing because I don't want the video to be super long so We'll continue to look around throughout um, this video. I am going to be popping around just to different locations. I'm definitely not going to go to all the locations because, of course, I want you guys to be able to um, explore on your own and see things that you haven't been shown by me in this video. This is a beautiful record store. Can you buy these? Sometimes they'll let you buy things with, nope, you can't buy them. That's okay. So I'll let you like for like little decorations and things like that. So on to the next place. So I did find that they have so many little nooks and crannies that you will find just by walking around a corner or just kind of coming across it by chance. I really did like that. I love lands where you can get a little bit lost and that's okay. The lands where you're kind of happy that you got lost because things are so beautiful and you'll find your way back eventually to where you want to be or you'll just find new exciting places to um, explore. These beautiful horses eating and they have little houses like this. And when you go to these lands, you guys, make sure that you um, donate if you can, you know. I know Second Life can get a little bit pricey, so do what you can if you can. Just to, you know, help these wonderful creators out. Just to give them a little bit of motivation to keep going and keep creating beautiful spaces for us. This land is so beautiful. The greenery is beautiful. Just the landscaping as a whole is wonderful. I love the nature sound and all the little added details that they've um, put together. Just really makes you feel like you're actually in this space. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Like I said, like this space in particular, it does have a bit of a, they do have a well here that's cute can you sit on here yes you can i'm i'm trying like i i, I want to sit on all of this stuff but i really want to show you guys more than anything um this land this space um really kind of gives that more of a rustic vibe that i was telling you guys about oh look at the little kitty cat so they do have some spaces that you can go into um i'm assuming but we haven't come across any yet. A lot of them look like you can go into them, but I'm not sure. So I really like how it does have a very rustic slash country vibe to it that I can, I can appreciate. I definitely can appreciate. So I do feel like this land is going to be perfect for anyone of course but i kind of feel like it may be more geared towards couples it definitely has more of a romantic type vibe to it but um you can always go at it alone like i do not a problem throughout this land you're definitely going to come across um lots of animals grazing and things like that beautiful nature sounds and beautiful nature views as well as plenty of sitting spaces and um, cuddle areas all around this is a moderate sim so be mindful of that not gonna be no kind of the hanky panky panky stuff going on you know we're literally just enjoying the space to so get you a little cuddle on you want to get some hanky panky go home because this, this is not the land for that so just as a little reference, you can use the, is this a road? Is this a path? What's over here? 
So you can use um, the TP system or you could just walk around. Um, walking around is going to be able to take you around to those same locations. Oh, this is pretty. It's going to be able to take you to those same locations. You'll just kind of happen to come across them as opposed to teleporting straight to them. Is it any animations on here? Oh, it's animations on the fountain. How cute. Oh, this is pretty. Getting my pants wet, but that's okay. So that's cute little poses in the fountain. There are multiple poses um, that you can use. Do you hear the birdies, you guys? Now, there are some lands that when you look at them, things don't really seem to make sense. But this land, things really make sense. As do, it's, it's more Sims in Second Life that make sense than not. But sometimes you'll just see the Sims, you're just like... Why would you put this here? Like, but all of the things go together. All of the birds go together. The houses and everything, they all go together. You see a little couple? Yeah, I don't really want to interrupt. They might be taking pictures or something like that, but I want to look around, so. Listen, this is a public space. I'm going to respect your space, though. I'm not going to get too close. Just everything goes together. It, it has a bayou vibe. That's that's the word that I'm looking for. It has a bayou vibe. This is a more of a, this is more of an outside vibe type land. And you can take pictures everywhere. Just about everything has animations. Not this boat, but that's okay. But just about everything else has um really nice animations like you guys saw that fountain and things like that so you'll definitely be able to come and take some nice pictures and things like that and just kind of have a different type of role play here get that pretty water i am trusting that you guys are going to come to visit these spaces because they're so so very nice so this is off topic a little bit, but thank you so much for all of the very kind comments that I've received and have been um, continuously receiving. I really do appreciate them. I was hesitant on even making the decision to post Second Life content simply because I didn't know if this was something that people would want to see um, on YouTube, but I'm so glad that I went with my gut and decided to post second life content is something that i really really enjoy and it brings me so much joy knowing that um you guys enjoy it as well so i just want to thank you guys just for supporting me supporting my channel and just being here for the journey because you know we're, we're, we're gonna keep going up up and up but i just really really i'm so thankful and grateful and appreciative and just overjoyed that my content is being you know watched and appreciated and it, it's something that people find enjoyment in so at this point you guys i'm not even following the path anymore i'm just really just walking around because i've seen so many little side paths that i'm just like we, we, we just gonna see where this stuff takes us I've been to a lot of um, nature themed sims, uh, forest themed sims, and this definitely is one of the nicest. I know I, I probably say that about every land because all of the lands are so beautiful, but I really like how they have the environment um, when it comes to this land. It just gives you that much more of an experience when the lighting is very much so it, it brings everything together it, it brings the nature and the sounds and the views it just brings everything together with the lighting i feel like if it was super bright in this space it wouldn't kind of be as realistic it does have its um dips of high and low lights and i really like that so this land is very, very, very walkie walkie, lots of paths. Um, nothing is really quote unquote close together. You do have to walk a ways to find um, little 
spaces and places um, but everything is very very visually pleasing so even though it's a lot of walking um the, it's a lot of paths before you get to um some destinations it's definitely enjoyable this gives me like a um, roman type vibe like this used to be a church and then the church just maybe got demolished or something like that i don't know so it's just like pieces of the church and not necessarily like a whole um church it's like a catholic church was it it's a catholic church a church or chapel or is a chapel a smaller church i don't know let me know in the comments so you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up i hope you guys really enjoyed all the beautiful sights and sounds that elvion has to offer and make sure that you come and visit the landmark for this location will be in the description box below so if you guys haven't done so already make sure that you like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys next time